So I was thinking, how am I going to move forward from this point to get towards 5D in a better way? So basically, I'm taking information that I've gotten from the other side, which is basically outside in, and incorporating that from my skin consciousness, my body consciousness, inside out. By using the data from the outside in, incorporate it with this inside out, then I get closer to 5D, closer to unity consciousness. Well, one of the big issues has been this uh, divine masculine and divine feminine energies being on the planet. And now that the divine energies are back on, how can I get closer to using and incorporating those divine energies <clears throat> and not use the shadow energies. So I've decided to use some day-to-day -day things that you might use yourself or not. You can come up with other ways for yourself. But these are some things that I'm going to incorporate into my life and I'm going to visually um, look for and envision them happening around me more often to take me to the collective consciousness where divine masculine and feminine are prevalent energies versus the shadow energies. Some of these ways that I have found that I can do relatively quickly is to really look at how these shadow energies have been used almost to the point that we accept them or I accept them since I want to speak for myself and not the world, not for anybody else. But this is how I see my life and the shadow energies around me. So what are things that I can do that are relatively quick and easy? Well, the first things I can do is to analyze words and watch the words because words are so powerful, much more powerful than people think that they are. So the words around me and how I allow them to be used and blow them off, incorporate them, accept them, uh, for me, needs to change. Now, what are these words? Well, for, uh, for the shadow masculine, things like, oh, you're being a pussy. Okay, this is very undivine on both sides. It's detrimental to both energy sides. So I won't be using or allowing that word to be used around me anymore. Things that are akin to this are mother effer, uh, bastard, um, that kind of thing. Anything that I come across, because it seems like all of the bad words for men incorporate a, a negative aspect of the feminine. So in, that affects both sides. It brings in shadow masculine and shadow feminine. So I want to get rid of all of those kind of uh, references. And there are quite a few of them. And I'll deal with them as they come into my life. If I hear someone use it, if I see it on a TV show, um, I will have many ways of, that I personally will deal with that. I will change it in my mind to a different word, or I will click off of that um movie or show, or I will um, interject in a conversation to change that to a more, much more positive um, aspect. Of course, rich, sometimes those things are used in a joking manner, but whether they're being used as a joking manner or a very destructive manner, I personally am going to remove those from the collective consciousness, the collective consciousness that I'm going towards. And then the next thing that I want to get rid of, which I think it'll be pretty easy, is, uh, well, it'll be time consuming, but it'll be easy to locate them. And that is the classic uh, seeing women in, in a sexual way. Uh, it is all around us all the time, and it is pretty easy for me to identify and to turn it to another uh, twist it into another way, um, see it in a different light, from a different perspective. That's a lot of what I do. I look at things from a different perspective, put a better spin on it. And from the guy's side, it really has more to do with uh, with money. So I'm going to 
take that out of the picture. I'm going to twist that around. I'm going to bring that back into myself and correct those shadow energies in myself, first of all, by seeing what is being mirrored to me. Because what I see is a mirror of what I am on the inside. So whatever I see out there, then I know that I need to correct that energy on the inside of me because that's what's creating the outside. Or actually, that's what's taking me to the collective that is verifying what is on the inside of me. So in order to get to a collective where divine masculine and feminine energies are the norm and are prevalent, then I need to look at these shadows from a different perspective. For me, that's very much like looking at good and bad, that it's just a matter of perspective. So anything that I can't wrap my head around or I can't change the perspective and the wording to something else, I can simply bow out and say, again, that is their game. That is the game that they're playing. Nothing's wrong with it. Absolutely nothing's wrong with playing the shadow versions of the of divine masculine and feminine. But it is simply a game that I'm not going to be playing anymore. So I have to look at these things instant by instant as I go through my day. Every single day. So that will certainly be at the top of my list. Because after bringing in these new energies of the masculine and the feminine, my goal will be to send more energy to the divine and take less energy from the shadow, accept it as another game and is simply another game that I'm not going to be playing in this dualistic um, reality, this dualistic creation. That it will still be there. It'll be available for other people to play with. Those energies, those setups, those that gameplay, but it is something that I'm going to remove myself from. Also, this ties into the next phase, which is really going to be a little bit trickier for me because I do tend to look at people and go straight into their real selves. It's it's easier for me. So I'm going to have to start looking at the masks that people are portraying and not go past the masks so I can mirror to myself what collective consciousness that I'm in in order to get to the collective consciousness that I want. And one of the one that I'm surrounded with a lot is this masking of what is told to us as being perfect. The way you're supposed to look, the way you're supposed to act, the way you're supposed to be, and how that picture is given to us that we're all supposed to be male or female a certain way, and to really look at that and see how strong that collective is. And I've looked at it a little bit over this morning, and it appears to be, in my collective, fairly strong. So I'm going to be looking at that at the same time so I can see that mirrored back at me. Send, I want to send a lot more positive energy to anyone who is living an aspect of themselves that does not match that norm, that is unique. I'm going to be looking at those unique aspects and really trying to reach out to people and notice that bit of uniqueness in them to mirror that back in the collective. So that the, the collective that I'm going to, it is the differences between us that is honored more than the sameness amongst us that is honored. Because right now in the collective that I'm in, definitely fitting the norm or being a, being a success means this, 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 this. And it's a list that you tick off. And what I want to do is, I, and I can see that in the collective that it's mirrored back to me. So therefore, I need to send out a different energy in order to go to a collective where uniqueness is honored more than being the same. And that's how I do things, guys. I kind of look around me and see where I am. I look at what, what I see, how I experience it, analyze whether or not that is better than it was yesterday or worse, and then tweak my perception of it in a way that will cause me to go to a collective that is closer to the collective that I want to get to. Step by step, second by second, every day, all day long. And usually I have, like I've told you, 
I think this is the first time that I've shared with you guys what my primary objective of perception is in any moment or time because I usually have one that I'm really focused on and then there'll be several secondaries and then there'll be things that I'm just watching for all the time. And that's what I do moment to moment. And this is what I'll be working on right now. And the reason for that is because of the last video where I noticed that these new energies are available with the divine masculine and feminine that I really want to fortify. I really want to make those stronger on the planet because definitely in 5D, those divine masculine and feminine um, energies are very strong and the merging of the two, the working of the two together within each individual and the collective as a whole are very much um, working together instead of working against each other. And definitely right now I see a lot of working against each other, a lot of uh, still a lot of fear, a lot of trepidation between the masculine and the feminine. And I don't necessarily mean just males and females. I mean the masculine and the feminine. Even within myself, there's still this, this belief system that I can see in myself and mirrored outside of myself that for a woman to show masculine-like characteristics is considered bad and for a man to exhibit feminine attributes is bad. Considering all of the shadow energies that we've got, I don't necessarily think that that's an unreasonable belief system. But as I start to incorporate, incorporate the divine aspects of both, and that's going to take a lot of analyzing, really, because it it really hasn't been on the planet. So I'm going to have to do a lot of analyzing and a lot of instinctual um, supporting of the divine masculine and feminine as I figure out what I believe is divine in both sides of the masculine and the feminine as I bring them together inside of myself. And the belief that uh, definitely I have been... Um, aspects of myself as in life, I have been put down for being strong and big and uh, mouthy. <clears throat> and either I've been given kind of tagged in a negative way that, oh, you're just like a man. Or um, from a feminine side, well, you're being a bitch or you're an ice queen or, well, all kinds of things. And you guys can fill in the blanks. You're old enough to know what I'm talking about. So I need to look at those aspects in myself and re-tag those instead of being antagonistic about my attributes that are feminine and masculine. Then I need to look at those differently and apply the divine aspects of those, fortify them in myself and get them to work together in a nice, nice balance, supporting one another instead of attacking each other within this physical body. Because those energies right now, I can feel both of them. When I go into a meditative state, I can bring in the energies from New Year's Eve, which, as I've said in the last video, feel very masculine, divine energies. And I can bring in the ones from the eclipse that feel very feminine, divine energies. And I can feel them inside this physical body trying to move through them in a gentle, harmonious way, and that isn't, isn't happening yet. So I have some work to do. And until that happens, so that I can send out that, that, be, that divine masculine and divine feminine energies within myself, being strong and divine and working closely and lovingly with each other as one, then I cannot send that energy out and go to the collective where the collective is that way, you see. So uh, anyone who this resonates with, um, that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I think it's a good plan in order to get us to more divine uh, feminine and more divine masculine. I think trying to do it from the outside in 
is going to be kind of uh, faulty. I don't think it's going to get us there uh, ultimately. I think we're going to have to go from, from the within out, or at least that's how I've chosen to do it. Uh, because I am a creator God, and I will go to the collective that matches me. It just follows that in order to get divine masculine and divine feminine on a planet, which is 5D Earth, where they operate um, at their higher le highest level in, in conjunction with each other in a harmonious way, I'm going to have to fix that in myself first. And given my history, that's going to be uh, that may take me a little bit of time. And as you guys know, I like to do things fast and I like to do them well. So I'm going to have to exhibit some patience in this arena to get this done. But I will be being very specific about what I require and my standards will be exceptionally high as I go day to day visually feeling and noticing around me what collective I am I am exhibiting at all times okay so just a heads up on that's what I'm going to be doing for a while um, well, I'm really really happy to see everybody interacting with each other I hope that this um, little family that we've started I hope that gives you all support that was my intent is for you to have someone that you could call and you could talk to that would understand from our perspective, how we see things, um, how di for the difficult times and the good times, for the uh, periods of time whenever you see magic and miracles, where you're see starting to see magical creatures, where you see your creative process actively working. Hopefully you will start sharing with each other how your intuition is working. Um, and use these tools from each other to show that to show that it does work and that we're getting somewhere but that was the primary goal was it was to for me to find you and for you to find each other and hopefully this will grow and give you the support that you need um sounds like it's working i think y'all are doing really well together uh, hopefully i'll be able to pop in a little bit more um, than I have been doing, but I will try to pop in even if it's just for a few minutes over time. Okay. All right, guys. Um, I love you guys so much. Uh, huge hugs and have fun with this. The new energies will make it more fun. So try to relax and have more fun with it. Uh, the lower energies are dropping away. You aren't imagining it. It does feel lighter if you allow it in, but you have to allow it in. Remember the past is gone, gone, gone. All you've got truly is the now and to kind of visualize, I don't go too much in the per, in the, in the future. I just go moment to moment in the future in that this now is the way it is. I want it to be this and tweak it right in that moment and, uh, keep each other updated and supported. And, uh, I love you all. Huge hugs, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.